Wesley Christians, welcome back and today we are going to look at the most underrated but most important partnership you could ever have. Drum rolls please! Ruth, what are you talking about? None other than the Spirit of God. This is a common misconception that the Spirit of God is the lesser part of the Trinity, it's just an add-on to the Trinity. No, the Spirit of God is God. It's an equal head of the Trinity. To live a successful Christian life in these end times, you must be Spirit-led. And if you stay until the end, I'm going to give you four bonus tips on how you can strengthen that relationship. Brothers and sisters, there's been so many times that the Spirit of the Lord guided me out of dangerous situations or prompted me into helping someone that I didn't know that I needed to help at the time. Walking with the Spirit of God is the most important thing you can do. The Lord said, Jesus said, he left us a helper. And Romans 8.26 says that the Spirit helps us in our weakness. So our weaknesses, he covers them up for us. He helps us in our weakness. In our lives, we go through different stages of weaknesses. The weakness you may have had 10 years ago is not the same weakness you have now. And that's why I say that the most important partnership you can have is this having a partnership with the Spirit of God. In these end times, you have to, it is pivotal that you walk with the Spirit of God. You can take nothing on surface value anymore. You cannot judge by your own intellect anymore because everything is now so so unclear and not distinct and not obvious but very confusing that if you go by your own intellect you are deemed to walk into error that even the things that look right even the things that look good may be the opposite so it is pivotal that you walk with the spirit of god god himself who is within you. The Bible says he is a seal within you. And very importantly, when you walk with the Spirit of God, it actually gives you an identity. Romans 8, 14. For as many are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. Hallelujah. If you are led by the Spirit of God, you are a son of God. So it gives you an identity. That means if you do not walk by the Spirit of God, you cannot be a son of God. It is pivotal. And as we've seen in the previous series, and I'll put a link to that previous video about our identity in Christ. As you are in Christ and he is in you. Which is the formation of the Trinity actually within you. For instance, 2 Corinthians 13, 14 tells us that the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you. It specifically says the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, the companionship of the Holy Spirit be with you. So the Lord expects us to have a partnership. It is not good enough to just, you know, just know that the spirit of god is there by the wayside but you actually need to engage with the spirit of god and so you might ask yourself well ruth how do i strengthen my, my relationship with the spirit of god i don't know where to start well hebrews says that we need to have our senses exercised we must exercise our senses in order to discern so here i will give you the four promised bonus tips that you can implement practically right now in order to strengthen your relationship and the sermon of the Spirit of God. First of all, you must read the Word of God. The Bible says in Hebrews 4, 12 that the Word of the Lord is the discerner of all thoughts. When you are filled with the Word, you are filled with Christ, for Christ is the Word, and you will receive discernment to discern all thoughts. Secondly, you must meditate on the Word of God. It is not good enough to just read it for reading's sake, but you must digest the Word. Read the Word, meditate on it, let it digest, let it become life within you. You must practice stillness. 
The spirit of the Lord is a gentle spirit. You must practice stillness. Psalm 37, 7 says, Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. And then lastly, you must reverence his presence in your life. You must actually reverence him. You could be in the house and you know there's a kitchen in your house, but you're in another room and you're hungry. You know the kitchen is there, but you don't acknowledge the kitchen. You don't go to the kitchen. You're going to be there hungry, but the kitchen is going to be there. That's the same way it is with the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God can be within you, but because you do not reverence it, it's like you don't activate Him, so to say. Reverence the Lord in all your ways. Acknowledge Him in all your ways, the psalmist said. And the more you do it, the more you will receive consciousness of Him in your life. Every day I communicate with the Spirit of God. I ask Him about my day. I talk to Him about my day talk to them about the situations I'm in and as you are training your senses you will see that you will start receiving words you will start hearing his word you will start hearing from him you might you will start receiving impressions from him and this will take you a mighty long way well guys I hope this video has been helpful I hope it's been a blessing do share like and subscribe if it has and I shall see you in my next video over here